What lengths would a country go to silence critical voices? Well, we've got a real puzzler from India for you listeners today. Welcome back to Hear the Web. I'm Tom. And I'm Lily. Today we're discussing the massive police raid in India on the independent news website, NewsClick, and several prominent figures who've been connected with it. The allegations? Illegal funding from China, a claim that the website, known for criticizing the Indian government, strongly denies. But let's rewind a bit. NewsClick was established in 2009 and gained quite the recognition for its critical coverage of the government. In 2021, they faced a raid by tax authorities, again over allegations of breaking India's foreign direct investment rules. Now, you might wonder if this is deja vu. But this time, it's on an unprecedented scale. Exactly. Raids happened at 30 locations, from private homes to the NewsClick office itself, a move that coincides with the Bharatiya Janata Party government's frequent clashes with the media. These raids have been branded by opposition as another attack on the media by the government. Yet Anurag Thakur, the Information and Broadcasting Minister, denies any government involvement. The list of those investigated or raided is lengthy. The editor of NewsClick, Prabir Perkayastha, activists, journalists, satirists, and more. Many were taken in for questioning without a warrant or paperwork, a point that is causing controversy. Now, while Mr. Rajura, a popular satirist, isn't named in this investigation, the police took his laptop and old work DVDs because he has worked with the website. He isn't alone. Many under scrutiny have just been associated with NewsClick, some as employees, others as freelance contributors. So it prompts us to ask, is this been a power play or a necessary investigation? And the world is watching. The Delhi police have yet to comment on the matter, only adding to the growing tension. Let's talk about why the raid occurred. NewsClick came under suspicion following a New York Times report claiming they received funds from the American millionaire Neville Roy Singham to propagate Chinese propaganda. NewsClick has, of course, denied the allegations, calling them false. But this is bigger than just NewsClick, isn't it, Tom? Yes, Lily. Press freedom is on the line. Detractors are characterizing the raids as yet another instance of the government's arbitrary and intimidatory behavior. A current climate defined by increased investigations of news media, heightened since Prime Minister Narendra Modi took office in 2014. Reporters Without Borders, for instance, ranks India at an unsettling 161st place in its press freedom rankings this year, comparing the situation to countries like Tajikistan and Turkey. You know, Tom, what concerns us the most is the broader effect this situation can have on the functioning of democracy in India, which is, after all, the world's largest republic. If journalists are afraid to diligently report the news, it's not just the media that pays the price, it's the citizens. Absolutely, Lily. It's an ongoing situation, and one we'll be monitoring closely. Because at the end of the day, transparency and freedom of the press are fundamental to any functioning democracy. So, stick with us on Hear the Web for updates on this and other global stories. Be sure to join us next time. Thanks for listening.